1, the Gospel of Mark, chapter 1. John the Baptist prepares the way. The beginning of the Gospel of Jesus Christ, the Son of God. And it is written in the prophets, Behold, I send my messenger before thy face, which shall prepare thy way before thee. The voice of one crying in the wilderness, Prepare ye the way of the Lord. Make his path straight. John did baptize in the wilderness and preached the baptism of repentance for the remission of sins. And there went out unto him all the land of Judea and thy of Jerusalem, and were all baptized of him in the river of Jordan, confessing their sins. And John was clothed with camel's hair and with a girdle of a skin about his loins, and he did eat locusts and wild honey, and preached, saying, There cometh one mightier than I after me, the latchet of whom, whose shoes I am not worthy to stoop down and unloose, I unloose. I indeed have baptized you with water, but he shall baptize you with the Holy Ghost the baptism of Jesus. And it came to pass in those days that Jesus came from Nazareth of Galilee and was baptized of John in Jordan. And straightway coming out of the water, he saw the heavens opened and the spirit like a dove descending upon him. And there came a voice from heaven saying, Thou art my beloved son in whom I am well pleased the temptation of Jesus. And immediately the Spirit driveth him into the wilderness. And he was there in the wilderness forty days, tempted of Satan, and was with the wild beasts, and the angels ministered unto him. Jesus begins his ministry. Now after that John was put in prison, Jesus came into Galilee preaching the gospel of the kingdom of God and saying, The time is fulfilled, and the kingdom of God is at hand. Repent ye and believe the gospel. Jesus calls the first disciples. Now as we he walked by the Sea of Galilee, we saw Simon and Andrew his brother casting a net into the sea. For they were fishers, they were fishers. And Jesus said unto them, Come ye after me, and I will make you to become fishers of men. And straight away they forsook their nets and followed him. And when he had gone a little further thence, he saw James the son of Zebedee and John his brother, who also were in the ship mending their nets. And straight away he called them, and they left their father Zebedee in the ship with the hired servants and went after him. Jesus heals a man with an unclean spirit. And they went into Capernaum and straight away on their Sabbath day. He entered into the synagogue and taught, and they were astonished at his doctrine, for he taught them as one ha that had authority, and not as the scribes. And there was in their synagogue a man with an unclean spirit, and he cried out, saying, Let us alone, what have we to do with thee, though Jesus of Nazareth, art thou become to destroy us? I know thee who thou art, the Holy One of God. And Jesus rebuked him, saying, Hold thy peace and come out of him. And when the unclean spirit had torn him and cried with a loud voice, he came out of him. And they were all amazed, and so much that they questioned among themselves, saying, What thing is this? What new doctrine is this? For with Authority commanded he even the unclean spirits that they do obey him. 
and immediately his fame spread abroad throughout all the religion round about Galilee. Jesus heals many, and forthwith, when they were come out of the synagogue, they entered into the house of Simon and Andrew with James and John. But Simon's wife, mother, lay sick of a fever, and anon they tell him of her. And he came and took her by the hand and lifted her up, and immediately the fever left her, and she ministered unto them. And at even, when the sun did set, they brought unto him all that were diseased, and them that were possessed with devils. And all the city was gathered together at the door. And he healed many that were sick of divers diseases and cast out many devils, and suffered not the devils to speak, because they knew him. Jesus preaches in Galilee, and in the morning rising up a great while before day, he went out and departed into a solitary place, and there prayed. And Simon, they that were with him, followed after him. And when they found him, they said unto him, All men seek for thee. And he said unto them, Let us go into the next towns, that I may preach there also. For therefore came I forth. And he preached in their synagogue through all Galilee, and cast out devils. Jesus cleanses a leper, and there came a leper to him, beseeching him, and kneeling down to him, and saying unto him, If thou wilt, thou canst make me clean. And Jesus moved with compassion, put forth his hand, and touched him, and said unto him, I will be thou clean. And as soon as as he had spoken, immediately the leprosy departed from him, and he was cleansed. And he straightly charged him, and forthwith sent him away, and said unto him, See, though say nothing to any man, but go thy way, show thyself to the priest, and offer for thy cleansing those things which Moses commanded for a testimony unto them. But he went out, and began to publish it much, and to blaze abroad the matter in so much that Jesus could no more openly enter into the city, but was without in desert places. And they came to him from every quarter. Chapter, Mark chapter 2 Jesus heals a paralytic. And again he entered into Capernaum after some days, and it was noised that he was in the house. And straightway many were gathered together in so much that there was no room to receive them. No, not so much. As there about the door, and he preached the word unto them. And they come unto him, bringing one sick of the palsy, which was born of four. And when they could not come nigh unto him for the press, they uncovered the roof where he was. And they, and when they had broken it up, they led down the bed wherein the sick of the palsy lay. Then Jesus saw their faith he said unto the sick of the palsy, Son, thy sins be forgiven thee. But there were certain of the scribes sitting there, and reasoning in their hearts, Why though this man does speak blasphemies? Who can forgive sins but God only? And immediately when Jesus perceived in his spirit that they so reasoned, within him themselves. He said unto them, 
Why reason ye these things in your hearts? Whether it is easier to say to the sick of the palsy, They, thy sins be forgiven thee, or to say, Arise, and take up the be thy bed and walk. But that ye may know that the Son of Man had power on earth to forgive sins, he said to the sick of the palsy, And I say unto thee, Arise, and take up thy bed, and go thy way unto thy house. And immediately he arose up, arose, took up the bed, and went forth before them all, and so much that they were all amazed and glorified God, saying, We never saw it on this fashion. Jesus calls Levi, and he went forth again by the seaside, and all the multitude resorted unto him, and he taught them. And as he passed by, the, he saw Le Levi and the son of Ephesus sitting at the recept of custom, and said unto him, Follow me. And he arose and followed him. And it came to pass that as Jesus sat on meat in his house, many publicans and sinners sat also together with Jesus and his disciples, for there were many and they followed him. And when the scribes and Pharisees saw them eat with publicans and sinners, they said unto his disciples, How is it that they eat it and drink it with publicans and sinners? When sinners, when Jesus heard it, he said unto them, They that were that they that are whole have no need of a phys the physician. But they are that, that are sick, I came not to call the righteous, but sinners to repentance. A question about fasting. And the disciples of John and of the Pharisees used to fast. And they come and say unto him, Why do the disciples of John and of the Pharisees fast, but they thy disciples fast not? And Jesus said unto them, Can the children of the bride chamber fast while the bridegroom is with them? As long as they have the bridegroom with them, they cannot fast. But the days will come when the bridegroom shall be taken away from them, and then shall they fast in those days. No man also seweth a piece of new cloth on an old garment, else the new piece that filled up Take it away from the old, the re and rent is made worse. And no man put it new wine into old bottles, else the new wine doth burst the bottles, and the wine is spilled, and the bottles will be mared. But new wine must be put into new bottles. Jesus is Lord of the Sabbath. And it came to pass that he went through the cornfields on the Sabbath day. And his disciples began as they went to pluck the ears of corn. And the Pharisees said unto him, Behold, why do they on the Sabbath day that which is not lawful? And he said unto them, Have ye never read what David did when he had meat and was unhungered? He and they were with him, how he went into the house of God, and in the days of Abher the high priest, and did eat the showbread, which is not lawful to eat but for the priests, and gave also to them which were with him. And he said unto them, The Sabbath was made for man, and not man for the Sabbath. Therefore the Son of Man is Lord also of the Sabbath. Chapter 3 A man with a withered hand. And he entered again into the synagogue, and there was a man there which had a withered hand. And they watched him, whether he would heal him on the Sabbath day, that they might accuse him 
And he said unto the man, which had the withered hand, Stand forth. And he said unto them, It is lawful to do good on the Sabbath days, or to do evil, to save life, or to kill. But they held their peace. And when he had looked round about on them with anger, being grieved for the hardness of their hearts, he said unto man, Stretch forth thine hand. And he stretched it out, and his hand was restored whole as the other. And the Pharisees went forth and straightway took counsel with the Herodians against him, how they might destroy him. A great crowd follows Jesus, but Jesus withdrew himself with his disciples to the sea, and a great multitude from Galilee followed him, and from Judea, and from Jerusalem, and from Idumea, and from beyond Jordan, and they of Tyre and Sidon, a great multitude, when they had heard what great things he did, came unto him. And he spoke to his disciples that a small ship would wait on him because of the multitude, lest they should throng him. For he had healed many in so much that they pressed upon him for to touch him as many as had plagues and unclean spirits. Then they saw him fell down before him and cried, saying, Thou art the Son of God. And he straightly charged them, them that they should not make him known, the twelve apostles. And he goeth up unto, into a mountain and called unto him whom he would, and they shout unto him. And he adorned twelve that they should be with him and that he might send them forth to preach and to have power to heal sicknesses and to cast out devils. And Simon be surnamed Peter and James the son of Zebedee and John the brother of James and he surnamed them Bargas, which is the sons of thunder and Andrew and Philip and Bartholomew and the Matthew and Thomas, and James, the son of Alphaeus, and Thaddeus, and Simon, the Canaanite, and Judas, Judas Iscariot, which also betrayed him. And they went into a house, and the multitude cometh together again, so that they could not so much as eat bread. And when his friends heard of it, they went out to lay hold of, on him, for they said, He is beside himself blasphemy against the Holy Spirit. And the scribes which came down from Jerusalem said, He had Beelzebub, and by the prince of the devils cast it he out devils. And he called them unto him, and said unto them in parables, How can Satan cast out Satan? And if a kingdom be divided itse against itself, the kingdom cannot stand. And if a house be divided itself, it, that house cannot stand. And if Satan rise up against himself and be divided, he cannot stand, but had an end. No man can enter into a strong man's house and spoil his goods, except he will first blot bind the strong man, and then he will spoil his house. Verily I say unto you, All sins shall be forgiven unto the sons of men, and blasphemies wherewith, wherewith soever they shall blaspheme. But he that shall blaspheme against the Holy Ghost had never forgiven, but it is in danger of eternal damnation, because they said he had an unclean spirit. Jesus' mother and brothers, then came then to his brethren and his mother, and standing without, sent unto him, calling him. And a multitude sat about him, and they said unto him, Behold, thy mother and thy brethren, without seek for thee. And he answered them, saying, Who is my mother or my brethren? 
And he looked around about on them, which set, sat about him, about him, and said, Behold my mother and my brethren, for whosoever shall do the will of God, the same is my brother and my sister and my mother. The parable of the sower. And he began again to teach by the seaside, and there was gathered unto him a great multitude, so that he entered into a ship and sat in the sea. And the whole multitude was by the sea on the land. And he taught them many things by parables, and said unto them in his doctrine, Hearken, behold, there went out a sower to sow. And it came to pass, as he sowed, some fell by the seat wayside, and the fowls of the air, and devoured it up. And some fell on stony ground, where it had not much earth, and immediately it sprung up, because it had no depth of earth. But when the sun was up, it was scorched, and because it had not rooted it, withered away. And some fell among thorns, and the thorns grew up and choked it, and it yielded no fruit. And other fell on good ground and did yield fruit that sprung up and increased and brought forth some thirty and some sixty and some an hundred. And he said unto them, He that, he that had ears to hear, let them hear. The purpose of the parables. And when he was alone, they that were about him with twelve asked of him the parable. And he said unto them, Unto you it is given to know the mystery of the kingdom of God, but unto them that are without all these things are done in parables, that seeing they must may see and not perceive, and hearing they may hear and not understand, lest at any time they should be converted and their sins should be forgiven them. And he said unto them, Know ye not this parable? And how then will ye know all parables? The sower soweth the word. <coughs> and these are they by the wayside where the word is sown. But when they have heard Satan come in immediately and take it away the word that was sown in their hearts. And these are they likewise which are sown on stony ground, who when they have heard the word immediately received it with gladness, and have no root in themselves, and so endure but for a time. Afterward, when affliction or persecution ariseth, for the word's sake, immediately they are offended. <coughs> and these are they which are sown among thorns, such as hear the word, and the cares of this world, and the deceitfulness of riches, and the lust of other things entering it, choke the word, and it becometh unfruitful. And these are are they which are sown on good ground, such as hear the word and receive it, and bring forth fruit, some thirtyfold, some sixty, and some a hundred, a lamp under a basket. And he said unto them, it is, is it a candle brought to be put under a bushel or under a bed, and not to be set on a candlestick? For there is nothing hid which shall not be manifested, neither was anything kept secret, but that it should become abroad. If any man have ears to hear, let them hear. And he said unto them, Take heed what ye hear, with what measure ye met, it shall be measured to you, and unto you that here shall be more given. For he that had to him shall be given, and he that had not from him shall be taken, even that which he had. The parable of the seed growing. And he said, 
so it is the kingdom of God, as if a man should cast seed into the ground, and should sleep and rise night and day, and the seed should spring and grow up, he knoweth not how. For the earth bringeth forth fruit of himself, first the blade, then the ear, after that the full corn in the ear. But when the fruit is brought forth, immediately he put in the sickle, because the harvest is come. The parable of the mustard seed. And he said, Wherewith shall we liken the kingdom of God? Or with what comparison shall we compare it? It is like a grain of the mustard seed, which, when it is sown in the earth, is less than all the seeds that be in the earth. But when it is sown, it groweth up, and becometh greater than all herbs, and shooteth out great branches, so that the fowls of the air may lodge under the shadow of it. And with many such parables spoke in he the word unto them, as they were able to hear it. But without a parable spoke he not unto them. And when they were alone, he expounded all things to his disciples. Jesus calms a storm. And the same day when the even was come, he said unto them, Let us pass over unto the other side. And when they had sent away the multitude, they took him even as he was in the ship. And there were also with him other little ships. And there arose a great storm of wind, and the waves beat into the ship, so that it was now full. And he was in the hinder part of the ships, asleep on a pillow. And they awake him, and say unto him, Master, carest thou not that we perish? And he arose and rebuked the wind, and said unto the sea, Peace be still, and the wind ceased. And there was a great calm, calm. And he said unto them, Why are ye so fearful? How is it that ye have no faith? And they feared exceedingly, and said one to another, What manner of man is this, that even the wind and the sea obey him? Chapter 5 Jesus heals a man with a demon. And they came over onto the other side of the sea, into the country of the Gardrines. And when he was come out of the ship, immediately there met him out of the tombs a man with an unclean spirit, who had his dwelling among the tombs, and no man could bind him, no, not with chains, because that he had been often bound with feathers and chains, and the chains had been plucked asunder by him, and the feathers broken in pieces, neither could any man tame him. And always night and day he was in the mountains and in the tombs, crying and cutting himself with stones. But when he saw Jesus afar off, he ran and worshipped him, and cried with a crowd voice, and said, What have I do to thee, Jesus, O Son of the Most High God? I adjure thee by God, that thou torment me not. For he said unto him, Come out of the man, thou unclean spirit, and he asked him, Why is it thy name? And he answered, saying, My name is Legion, for we are many. And he besought him much that he would not send them away out of the country. Nowhere was there nigh unto the mountains a great herd of swine feeding. And all the devils besought him, saying, Send us into swine, that we may enter into them. And forward Jesus gave them leave, 
And the unclean spirits went out and entered into the swine. The herd ran violently down a steep place into the sea. They were about 2,000 and were choked in the sea. And they that fed the swine fled and told it in the sea, in the country, and they went out to see what it was that was done. They that and they come to Jesus and see him that was possessed with the devil and had the legion sitting and clothed in his right mind, and they were afraid. And they saw it, told him how it befell to him that was possessed with the devil, and also concerning the swine. And they began to pray him to depart out of their coasts. And when he was come into the ship, he that had been possessed with the devil prayed him that he might be with him. How bet, how bet, Jesus suffered him not, but said unto him, Go home to thy friends, and tell him how great things the Lord had done for thee, and had compassion to, on thee. And he departed, and began to publish in Decapolis how great things Jesus had done for him, and all men did marvel. Jesus heals a woman and Joshua's daughter. And when Jesus was passed over by ship unto the other side, much people gathered unto him, and he was nigh unto the sea. And behold, there come one of the rulers of the synagogue, Jairus by name, and when he saw him, he fell at his feet, and besought him greatly, saying, My little daughter lieth at the point of death. I pray thee, come and lay thy hands on her that she may be healed, and she shall live. And Jesus went with him, and much people followed him, and thronged him. And a certain woman, which had an issue of blood twelve years, and, she, and had suffered many things of many physicians, and had spent all that he, she had, and was nothing bettered, but rather grew worse. When she had heard of Jesus, came in the press behind and touched his garment. For she said, If I may touch but his clothes, I shall be whole. And straightforward the fountain of her blood was dried up, and she felt in her body that she was healed of that plague. And Jesus, immediately knowing in himself that virtue had gone out of him, turned him about in the press and said, Who touched my clothes? And his disciples said unto him, Thou seest the multitude thronging thee, and sayest thou, Who touched me? And he looked around about to see her that had done this thing. But the woman, fearing and trembling, knowing what was done in her, came and fell down before him, and told him all the truth. And he said unto her daughter, Thy faith had made the, thee whole. Go in peace and be whole of thy plague. While he yet spoke, there came from the ruler of the synagogue's house certain which said, Thy daughter is dead. Why troublest thou the master any further? As soon as Jesus heard the word that was spoken, he said unto the ruler of the synagogue, Be not afraid, only believe. And he suffered no man to follow him, save Peter and James and John, the brothers of James. And he cometh to the house of the ruler of the synagogue, and see it the tumult, and them that wept and wailed greatly. And when he was come in, he said unto them, Why make ye this idol and weep? The damsel is not dead, but sleepeth. And they laughed him to scorn. But when he had put them all out, he taketh the father and the mother of the damsel, and then they were with him. 
and entered in where the damsel was lying. And he took the damsel by the hand and said unto her, Tala Kumai, which is being interpreted, Damsel, I say unto thee, Arise. And straight, and straight away the damsel arose and walked, for she was of the age, twelve years. And they were astonished with a great astonishment. And he charged them straightly that no man should know it and commanded that something should be given to her, given her to eat. Chapter 6 Jesus rejected at Nazareth, and he went out from thence, and he came into his own country, and his disciples follow him. And when the Sabbath day was come, he began to teach in the synagogue, and many hearing him were astonished, saying, From whence had this man, man these things? And what wisdom is this which is given unto him, that even such mighty works are rotly rough by his hands? It is not this the carpenter, the son of Mary, the brother of James and Joseph and of Judah and Simon, and are not his sisters here with us? And they were offended at him. But Jesus said unto him, a prophet is not without honor, but in his own country and among his own kin and in his own house. And he could there do no mighty work, save that he laid his hands upon a few sick folk and healed them. And he marveled because of their, of their unbelief, and he went round about villages teaching. Jesus sends out twelve apostles, and he called unto them the twelve, and began to send them forth by two and two, and gave them power over unclean spirits, and commanded them that they should not should take nothing for their journey, save a staff only, no script, no bread, no money in their purse, and be shod with sandals and not put on two coats. And he said unto them, In what place soever ye enter into an house, there abide till ye depart from that place. And whosoever shall not receive you, nor hear you, when ye depart, then shake off the dust under your feet, with a testimony against them. Verily I say unto you, it shall be more tolerable for Sodom and Gomorrah in the day of judgment than for that city. And they went out and preached that men should repent. And they cast out many devils and anointed with oil, many that were sick and healed them. The death of John the Baptist. And King Herod heard of him, for his name was spread abroad. And he said that John the Baptist has risen from the dead, and therefore mighty works do show for, for themselves in him. Others said that it is Elias, Elijah, and others said that is a prophet, or as one of the prophets. But when Herod heard thereof, he said, It is John, whom I beheaded, he is risen from the dead. For Herod himself had sent forth and laid hold upon John, and bound him in prison for Herodias' sake, his, brother's, his brother Philip's wife, for he had married her. For John had said unto Herod, It is not lawful for thee to have thy brother's wife. Therefore Herodias had a quarrel against him, and would have killed him, but she could not. For Herod feared John, knowing that he was just a man and holy, and observed him. And when he heard him, he did many things and heard him gladly. And when the covenant convenient day was come, that Herod on his birthday made a supper to his lords, high captains, the chief estates of Galilee, and when the daughter of the said Herodias came in and danced, and pleased Herod, and 
them that sat with him, the king said unto the damsel, Ask of me whatsoever thou wilt, and I will give it thee. And he swear unto her, Whatsoever thou shalt ask of me, I will give it thee unto the half of my kingdom. <coughs> and she was, and she went forth, and said unto her mother, What shall I ask? And she said, The head of John the Baptist. And she came in straightway with haste into the king and asked saying I will that thou give me by and by in the charger of the head of John the Baptist and the king was exceeding sorry yet for his old sake and for their sakes which sat with him he would not reject her and immediately the king sent an executioner and commanded his head to be brought, and he went and beheaded him in the prison, and brought his head in a charger and gave it to the damsel, and the damsel gave it to her mother. And when his disciples heard of it, they came and took it up his corpse and laid it in the tomb. Jesus feeds and the five thousand, and the apostles gathered themselves together unto Jesus and told him all things, both what they had done and what they had taught. And he said unto them, Come ye yourselves apart into a desert place and rest a while. For there were many coming and going, and they had no leisure so much as to eat. And they departed into a desert place by ship privately. And the people saw them departing, and many knew him, and ran further thither out of all cities, and out with them, and came together unto him. And Jesus, when he came out, saw much people, and was moved with compassion toward them, because they were as sheep not having a shepherd, and he began to teach them many things. And when the day was now far spent, his disciples came unto him and said, This is a desert place, and now the time is far past. Sent them away, that they may go unto into the country round about and into the villages, and buy themselves bread, for they have nothing to eat. He answered and said unto them, Give ye them to eat. And they say unto him, Shall we go and buy two hundred penny worth of bread and give them to eat? And he said unto them, How many loaves have ye? Go and see. And when they knew they had five and two fishes, he had commanded them to make all sit down by companies upon the green grass and they sat down in ranks by hundreds and by fifties and when he had taken the five loaves and the two fishes he looked up to heaven and blessed and broke the loaves and gave them to his disciples to set before them and the two fishes divided he among them all and they did all eat and were filled. And they took up the twelve baskets full of fragments and of the fishes. And they that did eat of the loaves were about five thousand men. Jesus walks on water. And straight away he constrained his disciples to get into the ship and to go to the other side before unto Bethsaida, while he sent away the people. And when he had sent them away, he departed into a mountain to pray. And when even had was come, the ship was in the midst of the sea, and he alone on the land. And he saw them toiling and rowing for the wind was contrary unto them. 
and about the fourth watch of the right of the night he cometh unto them walking upon the sea and would have passed by them. But when they saw him walking upon the sea, they supposed it had been a spirit and cried out. For they all saw him and were troubled, and immediately he talked with them and said unto them, Be of good cheer, it is I, be not afraid. And he went up unto them unto the ship, and the wind ceased, and they were so sore amazed in themselves beyond measure, and wondered. For they considered not the miracle of the loaves, for their heart was hardened. Jesus heals the sick in Gesserit. And when they had passed over, they came into the land of Gesserit and drew to the shore. And when they were come out of the ship straight away, they knew him and ran through that whole region round about and began to carry about in beds. Those that were sick were they heard he was. And whithersoever he entered unto villages, cities, or country, they laid the sick in the streets and besought him that they might touch if it were but the border of his garments, and as many as touched him were made whole. Praise the 
I go? Where would I be if I could not walk with him? I'm in his hands, he carries me home, and frees me from all my Side, he shines his light upon me And when I'm weak He's always strong His love for me Will lead me home Lead me home To the Father's house I'm in the Father's
Never cry for pain. 